If you own or manage a business that recently hired an independent contractor, you need to know how to generate a Form 1099 miscellaneous. Additionally, if you are the independent party, keep in mind you'll need this form once tax season rolls around. Let's review the basics of this process, who qualifies for this filing system, and how to file it. What is a 1099 miscellaneous? You submit a Form 1099 miscellaneous to the IRS to report business payments made to a contractor to the IRS. It helps the government track how much money independent businesses make. Some companies use them as a way to track their spending. The Form 1099 miscellaneous is also used by a contractor to calculate the amount of income taxes owed. Since he or she doesn't quite operate an automatic withholding system, the pay stub is the most accurate method of tracking money earned over a year's time. It consolidates all projects and commissions into one place for the IRS to track. Who is considered a contractor? A 1099 form applies to any contractor who provides a business service, not a personal service. This includes freelance creative jobs like writing, photography, or web design. Private consultants or one-off contracts like an accountant filing your taxes may apply as well. It can also include roofing or lawn services, so long as they are used for the purpose of a company, not an individual. For example, if a lawn service mows your lawn, it is considered a personal service and does not require a Form 1099 miscellaneous. However, if they landscape your business, and you pay more than $600, it is considered a business transaction and requires filing. A good rule of thumb is to prepare this form for any sole proprietor or an LLP. Small businesses like an S corporation, C corporation, or LLC don't require a 1099 miscellaneous. There is a gray area when it comes to some attorneys and medical providers. Even if your attorney is considered a corporation, they need this form. Same goes for medical services that are for profit. How to file a Form 1099 miscellaneous. Once the service is completed and paid for, the customer fills out a Form 1099 miscellaneous. This is a multi-sheet form. One copy goes to you, another to the contractor, and a third to the IRS. You will need to know the contractor's legal name and business name, federal tax classification, exemption codes, and address. And if you paid on credit or using a third party like PayPal, then you'll need to file a 1099-K. Most forms are self-explanatory, but to be sure you are filing correctly, use the IRS box-by-box -box instructions. File your form with confidence. Maybe you just launched your business and you have a long list of freelancers you paid this year. Or maybe you're managing a big company with a long list of contractors. Whatever the reason, our Form 1099 generator is the perfect deal for you. Check it out today at thepaystubs.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.